Hi, uh, my name is Alfonso King Jr., uh, but I'm probably more known as Jade Electra uh, and also DJ Relentless. I've been a DJ uh, for longer than I've been a drag queen. Uh, I started DJing in 1980 with my uncle in radio, and we used to do a jazz, uh, a jazz and R&B show back in Tampa, Florida. And uh, I guess it was in the mid '80s that I started learning how to mix. I took a trip to Chicago and I uh, heard uh, mixing on the radio and was like, oh my god, I really got to learn how to do this. So my recording career started, um, real, I, I had a friend, uh, a, a good friend named Calvin Roberts, uh, and we were talking one day on the phone and I was telling him about an event that happened at a bar where a queen fell off a speaker. And he thought it was really funny the way that I told him the story. So uh, he was like, we need to record that. So uh, I went to his place uh, and literally we recorded uh, a couple of tracks of me talking uh, and he put it to music. Bitch, you look fierce. 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 I have an idea. Let's take it to the runway, shall we? It's so lonely at the top. My bitch tracks are actually making fun of the people who are in the scene. But no one ever got that. So when I say bitch you look fierce, I'm not really giving a compliment. Even though on their terms, fierce is a good thing. If you listen to the song, listen to what I'm saying, I'm actually telling you the original meaning of fierce. And most of the kids who listen to the songs, they don't even know the references that I make, like to um, Glenn Campbell. Literally, I was making fun of the scene, but no one got it. Jade Electra uh, is actually the second incarnation of my drag career. Uh, I was originally, my, originally my name was Ebony back in Florida. Uh, but once I moved to New York, there was already uh, an ebony there, so uh, I decided to change my name. Electra is actually uh, homage to the queen who took me in when I first got to New York. Her name was the Electrifying Grace, and so I just kind of made it, made my name Jade Electra. And uh, so I, I got like small roles in different movies, like Tu Wong Fu, and uh, I was in Stonewall. Uh, I was in a movie with Callista Flockhart called Jane Doe. Um, I did some television work. Uh, I did. <laughs> there used to be long before Jerry Springer. There was a uh, a show called the Richard Bay Show, and uh, I did like 13 episodes of that. Uh, they used to love to use me for the dating game. H.I. Vogue. Uh, it's it's based on some artwork that my husband did. Um, and I I was thinking in my head, what was it that I wanted to address? These terms that we use, they're not, they don't really mean anything unless, unless you're getting tested like every other week and you, you know, because upon receipt of your results, they're expired. So as soon as you find out that you're HIV negative, that information is expired because if you go out and get laid that night, it doesn't mean anything anymore. I really want people to start thinking that way about HIV um, because the stigmatism is really, really bad. I'm hoping that I can use my voice to like bring awareness uh, and also just show that you know HIV positive people are not people who are just laying around sick in bed. I have a life. I get up. I go to work. I, I, you know, I do things. I live my life. Uh, and um, and have a, a very full and rich life. I, I would like Jade to be a spokesperson for um, HIV activism. I am scheduled to record my first live album as Jade at Statler's. Uh, so uh, it's not going to be jazz. It's, it'll have some jazz standards in it, but we have some fun stuff planned for that evening. Uh, so I'm hoping that, and it's also the day after my birthday, so I'm hoping that that's part of my little birthday celebration. Uh, and it should be fun. Feeling fab. 
Feeling fab. Feeling fab. Feeling fab.